Good afternoon, everybody, and here we have this week's thought. Patience is a necessary ingredient of genius. Right. That's by a guy called Benjamin Disraeli. He was born in 1804, and he lived for most of the 19th century. He was a prolific writer. He wrote novels, plays, poems, but he's most... um, remembered because he was a prime minister twice during Queen Victoria's reign. This was a time when Europe was massively imperialistic. Everybody seemed to have an empire, uh, the British Empire, which was huge, superpower of its time. The Spanish had an empire, the French, the Russians, the Austro-Hungarian Empire was really big, something we don't think about now or even know about, or the Ottoman Empire, which is uh, the Turkish Empire, was in its day a massive empire that was really big. British stole a lot of it, though, at certain times. Um, So there was a lot going on in his time, a lot of things that we actually do not agree with. And, of course, empire is one of the things that we don't agree with. He made, this is a quote, he made the Conservatives the party that most identified with the glory and power of British Empire. He was a Tory uh, Prime Minister. And um, he did a lot to make Britain this powerful super nation and a global player. Uh, We were having little wars all over the place and just ruling and expanding the empire, making Britain very, very rich. There were all sorts of complex political situations going on. Britain designed and built something called the Suez Canal. And um, this actually at the time was a, a fantastic thing. It was a wonderful source of income for Britain. And actually, in the 1950s, it all went pear-shaped. We had a war over it. But um, that's what happens with these international things. There were many European treaties that were put together in the 1870s and the 1880s. And in fact, actually, as a direct result of some of these, the First World War happened. Um, And um, having been to Vienna recently we noted that a big war happened the first world war and it the um, austro-hungarian empire was the center of that and because we had treaties with various people we were at war with them and germany was dragged in and russia and france and in the museums we weren't even mentioned because it wasn't our war so that's that's quite interesting that is but this is where benjamin disraeli was right in the center so when he says uh, this thing patience is a ne- is a necessary ingredient of genius we can see that he was wangling and doing stuff and being patient and he actually was quite a winner in what he wanted to do now then Do you know what? If we can add patience to our lives, we can add a value that really has a lot of benefits. See, the thing is, today we want everything now. Oh, I wish I was more patient. I really do. But you think of how we are. We want phones now, really good phones. We want computers, trainers, all sorts of clothes, the very best. We want it now boyfriend, girlfriend, we want them now, you know, all this kind of stuff. Holidays, you book a holiday and you think, I want it now, I want the holiday now. And you have to be really patient. And it it is a struggle. You know, later on in life, you'll be thinking, I want that car, I want it now. Or that house, I want it now. And it actually, it can lead to all sorts of problems, not being patient because life really isn't like that we can't have everything now and people get into massive debt because they're not patient we don't seem to save these days we just have a loan it's much much quicker so it can lead to problems anyway the um this has always been a situation and two thousand years ago saint paul wrote this he said the fruit of the spirit 
Now, the fruit of the Spirit, that's when we receive the very best by faith. So this is a faith issue, this is. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. I tell you what, if you've got those three things, you've cracked life. You really have. Love, joy, peace. Oh, that's what we want. But he also writes, patience. We need patience. And if we had that as a gift, wow, what a fantastic gift that could be. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there's no law. Isn't that wonderful? All the best things that we could ever have, those best attributes, values, there's no law against that. It's something really wonderful to have. So, genius. Genius is, is good, right? It is, isn't it? Something that is genius, or a genius, is an astonishingly clever and brilliant person. The product of genius. Oh, wow. So when Disraeli says, uh, it was quite a guy, I mean, he was quite a guy, patience is a necessary ingredient of genius, then it must be really good. It must be really, really good. We need to work on this attribute of patience. We really do. We need to think about it. We're told that patience is a virtue. A virtue? I always used to think, well, what does that mean? Actually, the dictionary says a virtue is the quality or practice of moral excellence or righteousness. So patience is a very, very good thing. Patience is a necessary ingredient of genius. Oh, it's a good thought. Think about it. God bless you. Have a fantastic week.